Is Winston Churchill a hero or a villain? <laughs> now, this, of course, comes about uh, yesterday. You're well aware of this, Lisa. Uh, the Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell was asked a, 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 a question where he could only give a one-word answer, uh, hero or villain. He was asked that about Winston Churchill, and he said villain because of uh, Churchill's actions during the uh, Tony Pandy miners' stri strike back in 1910. Hero or villain? That's with, more well, with no disrespect to Dipesh, who's reflecting something that has consumed a lot of national debate in the last 24 hours. I really do think this is a stupid question, and I think this is why you're getting a stupid answer. And, frankly, I'm sick to death of a political debate that tries to reduce things to yes or no, good or bad. But if it was a stupid I'm, question, no, he's I'm, a no. shadow chancellor. Why didn't he just knock it back like Grace did as a stupid question? He took the opportunity and we saw what he well, really well, thinks. And, and, no, no, but he, he didn't see what he really thinks because then he's been out this morning having to, talking in real terms about the legacy of Winston Churchill. And, look, th this is really, really dangerous stuff. We've seen it with the Brexit debate and we're seeing it with many of the conversations that we have in our political discourse at the moment. It is poisoning it. I happen to think, like probably most people in this country, that there are some decisions that Winston Churchill made that I wouldn't agree with at all. But at a critical moment in British history, he stood up and he made the right judgment call that has profound implications for all of us still now today. And what this daft debate that seeks to divide us has done is it's allowed people in British politics, on Jacob's wing of the Tory party, to try to invoke the spirit of Winston Churchill somehow, as if we're still in this war era and as if, as if we should be still be engaged in war.